So which one is it? Maintain salvation or maintain faith? Well, welcome to today's Daily Dose. In our study of Hebrews, we've discovered many warnings. Warnings that concern our eternal salvation. Warnings from the Lord about falling away, about drifting, and and ultimately denying our salvation, becoming apostate. So the tendency is to think, well, hey, we, we better get busy keeping ourselves saved. Now hold on, Skippy, hold on. Because remember, God's Word has clearly told us that there's only one who can keep us from falling. Only one who can keep us saved. Like it says in Jude 24. Jude says, Now unto Him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of His glory with exceeding joy. Jude's talking about Jesus. He's talking about Jesus. That's right. The one who alone saved us is also the one who alone can and will keep us saved. Can I get an amen on that? So, why the warnings about losing our salvation in Hebrews and and in the other books of the New Testament? Why are we told to work out our salvation with fear and trembling? What is it? What is it that that we're supposed to do? What's the work that we're supposed to do? And and what is it that we we can't do? Well, think about it. What did we do to receive salvation in the first place? Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing, right? True. But there was something involved. And that's called faith. We had to believe. We had to confess. We had to grab hold of of what Jesus had already grabbed hold of for us. And how do we do that? By grace through faith. Like the Apostle Paul said, for it is by grace that you've been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It's the gift of God. That's Ephesians 2 verse 8. So our part in this whole thing is what? It's faith. It's belief. It's receiving and then holding on to what Jesus did. And hear me out now. Faith isn't a work. Rather, faith is trusting in the work of another. It's trusting in the work of Jesus. So, look, we aren't warned to maintain our salvation because our work didn't earn our salvation in the first place. But we are warned and we're called to maintain our faith, our belief. And and we maintain our faith as we maintain our trust in the work of Jesus. We maintain our faith when we maintain our belief in God's Son as the Savior and Lord. And again, we've had no part in our salvation. It was Jesus who hung on the cross. It was Jesus who paid the price that we had no ability to pay. Our good works and our grit didn't save us. Jesus alone saved us. Our salvation from beginning to end is all the work of Jesus. So to think that we now have the responsibility or even the ability to maintain this salvation, it's foolish, it's arrogance. But God in His sovereignty and in His love, He's given us the provision and He's given us the ability to receive this salvation and to believe. He's given us this grace to do that and to continue to believe upon Jesus as our Lord and Savior says in Scripture that God's divine power has given us everything we need for godliness and life, for a godly life through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness, 2 Peter 1.3. Well, with that good news of God's saving grace, let's keep believing, keep confessing, and be blessed.